What's happening, guys? Johnny here, back with another video. Um, this here is a first aid bug out bag. Uh, if I were to leave my house, I had to take my family. We had to leave for whatever reason. This would be one of the uh, one of the bags we would grab to go. Um, if we were bugging in and we had uh, an accident for whatever reason, this would be a, a go-to bag. Um, it's by far not not complete, but we're on a good start so far. So let's dive in. Um, so really, it's a no-name bag. Uh, picked it up on Amazon, but it's a, it's a nice bag. I think it's like a 24 liter, or might even be smaller than that. Um, it has a lot, a lot of compartments though. Some straps on the side, on the front. On the side here, a bunch of Molly, Velcro. Camo, camo bag. If you watch any of my other videos, you you know that I'm definitely I like the camo bags. It's uh, it's got some straps and Molly on the back on the straps, adjustable straps. On top, it's got a um a penetration for a uh, for water for a straw. Uh, it also has a opening back here you could put you could probably fit a small laptop back there or a notebook stuff like that um, it's got one two three four compartments with the one in the back is five it's got nothing on it's got no um the only thing i don't like about this bag is it doesn't have any uh water storage on the side you can't put like a water bottle in on the side or anything like that. It has no uh, no place for it. But uh, that's my only gripe about the bag. Um, other than that, it's a it's a good bag. It's uh, pretty durable. I've had this probably about a year now, and it still seems like it's in the same condition. Uh, so that being said, yeah, let's dive in. On the side here, I just have a little. Um, little husky pouch that I, that I put on attached to the molly on the side I got some uh, some medical tape flashlight I got a razor knife I got some some wound closure strips some gauze wrap tweezers, some transparent dressing, more transparent dressing, more transparent dressing, some more wound closure strips, transparent dressing, bunch of transparent dressing and wound closure strips. Um, on the inside we got some bandages, just couple of, you know, band-aids, different sizes. Um, got a scalpel, little one-time use, little throwaway scalpel. A few more. What else? Got two little rubber tourniquets here. I got a little pad and a pen. No need to pull that out. Self-explanatory. Over here, I got just got some rubber bands on the front. And that's it. For this pouch. Okay. For the front pouch here. I got some waterproof matches by UCO. 
at two thermometers. And I have a little mirror. That's all that's in that front pouch. And in this next pouch, we have, I keep a Fisker's scissor. It can come apart, you could use it as a knife if you have to, if you wanted to. Excuse me. And it has a sharpener too for the scissors on the sheath, so. Trying to see what else it had on it. Um, I got some some 550 cord. Just uh, you always need 550 cord. And this is fire fire cord here. It's got some strands in it um, to help you start a fire. Um, got some medical shears. Just a cheapy pair. Got a pen light. A couple of pen lights, sorry about that. Got some markers, some pens, a right in the rain pad. And this here, this is a high temperature cordery, cauterizer. So I got two of those in here. So if I had a Cauterize anything. My wife is a nurse, so she'd be the one doing all of this stuff. But uh, two cauterizers. All right in the rain. In case I gotta jot anything down. My zebra pen, and then just another, just another regular everyday pen. A little marker, paint marker. Sharpie. And that's it for that pouch. Um, okay, let's dive into the bigger, bigger of the pouches here. I got some some sports tape. I got some self adhesive uh, gauze, athletic tape. Compression bandage. Another tourniquet. Um, some alcohol prep pads. That's a must. Some splints. Pretty sure that's what they called it. A couple of splints there. A little burn dressing here. And then we got a bunch. A bunch of self adhesive boys wrap. Got about, what is that, about five rolls right there. Then I got some hand warmers just to keep in the bag in case we had to bug out and it was cold. We got a little little luxury. Got a little first aid kit here that we added to. There's some more um, alcohol prep pads. There's a little there's a little light in there. Some nail clippers, a little rubber tourniquet, um, Q-tips, some aspirin, some more transparent dressing, an ice pack, uh, a triangular bandage, another gauze wrap over there. Some steri strips. Sorry for the hand shaking. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna put that back because I don't want to wrap this up over again. Okay. Alright. What else do we got? You never know what kind of situation you're going to run into. So it's good to have all around, you know, things that you hope that you never have to use any of this stuff. But if the situation arises, then at least it's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it, right? So over here, I got some bleed stop. Got a couple of pair of nitrile gloves. I should probably have these wrapped up in like a Ziploc bag or something. It's not too uh, not too good to have them loose like that. I got red duct tape. I could use this to signal. You know, if I if I wanted to like put it on something, I could signal somebody. And red is you know the color for uh, first aid, right? Um, and just. I could use it for a bunch of different things. Endless, endless uses for duct tape. So, what else do we have? Okay, we got a little Corona saw in here. If I had to bug out, and I was out, it's just redundancy because obviously I have one of those in my in my regular bug out pack. But redundancy. If it breaks, if I lose it. Whatever possibility could happen, at least I know I have another one in my pack. Here I got a little um, UST machete, mini machete. It's not the best quality, but it'll definitely it's definitely better than nothing. Some power cord around the handle, so in case I run out and I need more, I got it. It also has a little fire starter with the sheath so I could use that to help me start a fire if I needed to so that's that let's see what else we got oh, I got a couple of pairs of gloves just a couple of pair of winter gloves these are cut resistant gloves and okay what do we got in here Okay, we got more gauze. We got some gauze sponges. Some gauze sponges. And what do we got? We got quite a few. Okay, that's good. We got about seven or eight. And oh, on the outside, I just got a little paracord bracelet. Just uh, redundancy. Two is one, one is none, right? So that's about it. Yeah, that's it, guys. Got a couple flashlights, because that's always good to have. A um, couple knives. I got a little razor knife, like I showed you that before. This is just a little cobalt razor knife. Um, medical tape, tweezers paracord, weatherproof matches, cauterizers, scalpels, gauze, we got tons of gauze, um, alcohol pads, compression bandages, tourniquets, burn dressings. You know what I don't have in here? I don't have any ointments. That's what I need to add to this bag. I have some ointments. I need some, and, and maybe a bottle of aspirin or something like that, even though I have aspirin in my first aid pouch. But um, maybe some ointments in here, some creams. Um, there's plenty of stuff that I still need to add to this bag and go through it and, and make it, you know, make it better. But for right now, it's it's uh, it's a decent bag, not bad, and uh, could always be better. But you know, it's this is all this is not a bad start. So um, if you if you like the video, guys, um, like it think about subscribing i'm just getting started here so i don't have that many subscribers so i'd appreciate to subscribe um and definitely some input you know maybe you guys can help me out 
you know, you can, I can maybe hopefully I showed somebody something and maybe somebody can give me some input on what I'm doing and maybe how I could do it better. Um, I appreciate any criticism, positive or negative. And uh, that's about it. That's everything. That's everything for this bag. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, guys. Be well, be safe, be prepared. See you next time.